Hey guys, it's Carl. So one of the biggest questions I get, uh, especially at this time of the year, is laptops for uh, back to school season. It's kind of crazy to think that that time of year is already upon us. So I've discovered the one which I would definitely recommend to a lot of people out there. So this is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. And when you think about what students need for a device, I was a student myself not too long ago, the first thing is really around the form factor. You are hauling this computer around from class to class, to the gym, to the subway if you're commuting, to a coffee shop to work in, between classes, uh, to the library, wherever you take this thing, it's all around the form factor. You don't wanna lug around something too heavy. And that's where I think this uh, really slim profile makes a lot of sense. This is the thinnest yoga device available, weighs 1.35 kilos, because when you have this in your bag with the rest of your school textbooks, with your lunch, with your gym gear, you don't want something to weigh you down. It does come in two different colors. This one's in title teal, and you can see that I've matched my wallpaper to uh, match the aesthetic uh, of the blueness. But for the rest of the design, so on most yoga devices, I love this little latch or this little bezel area where you can lift your laptop. A big test is just to open the laptop on its own. There's no unnecessary wobble. You can do that uh, with one finger. And because this is a yoga slim, it doesn't go all the way around. It just stops at 180 degrees. Don't put uh, any extra pressure. And the last thing around the design are the polished edges. So I've been using this against, say, my MacBook Air, which I think this is its probably biggest competitor. That has the hard and straight edges like a lot of laptops do. If you're a student, you typically just have one device. You're always uh, typing on it. You're always using it on the go. I find that the polished edges or the rounded edges are are just so much nicer on the wrist uh, to type on. And for all the keyboard nerds and techies out there, the keys have 1.5 mils of travel compared to 1.3 on most. And it almost feels like each key is kind of coming up with your finger as you release it. It's actually a really great typing experience. I'll do a little key test here for you to hear that clickiness. Obviously nowhere as good as a mechanical keyboard, but once again, for a super thin and lightweight laptop, um, it's one of the best typing experiences. And obviously being a student, when you're typing out those essays um, for four, five, six hours a day, or if you leave it to the last moment, like I always did, eight hours typing on this thing, it's, um, it's actually a joy to use. And as someone that is very guilty to snack and chow down on my flaming hots, when I used to uh, work on my essays, this thankfully has an anti-oil coating to keep the keys nice and fresh so you don't get um, any weird red stain marks like your fingers usually do. So the last thing um, on the chassis, you'll actually see it beside the keyboard, are the speakers. So there's six in total on this laptop. I'll be very honest with this. It sounds like one of the best uh, Windows laptops that I've used. I would still say underneath the, you know, the MacBook series, but don't get me wrong. Uh, there is no tinniness. It's nice and loud. I found this very bass heavy, which I'm a fan of. Most of the music that I honestly listen to, which I think most students would agree, you're just pretty much on YouTube, on Spotify. As long as you're fairly center face, which once again, most people are when they're listening to uh, music on their laptops, the sound experience is uh, is very, very good. Next, switching to, actually probably one of my favorite things of this laptop is the display. So it's an interesting one. So 14.5 inches, it's a 3K OLED panel. It's super bright, super vibrant, uh, just honestly great to look at. And uh, it's pretty much bezel-less all the way around. And this is actually one of the thinnest OLED uh, panels on the market, as you can see how thin that profile is, keeping uh, the computer nice and thin. The last piece of hardware within the laptop on the little bezel uh, ridge, you've got a five megapixel full HD cam. Once again, the largest thing that you'll use that for is hopping on to say Skype. If you're still taking courses online and it does have a nice little kill switch on the side, which um, I'm always a fan of. Switching to performance. So obviously this is the biggest thing for a Thin laptop, it's rocking the Ryzen 7040. And honestly, when you think about uh, performance for a thin laptop, for what most people that are eyeing this, what they'll use that for. So this has 32 gigs of RAM. I honestly don't think you need anything uh, more powerful. So being a creator, obviously I'm uh, crunching through 4K edits on multiple streams. Most people, most students, do not need uh, that kind of power or that kind of proness. Um, if you still want to edit video, so I took a couple short form pieces of content, shot with my smartphone, 
you can edit them just fine on this. For your daily needs of multitasking, browsing the net, uh, obviously word processing, you're on Excel, running whatever a computer piece of program on this. For 98% of people out there, this is more than enough power. Even between lectures or at night for downtime, if you're playing the occasional game, obviously we're not talking about AAA titles. So when I was in school, big StarCraft II fan, like big SC2 RTS fan, I, uh, Roll back the years, toss some SC2 on this. Uh, I am a toss player. I was still able to play on high-ish settings. Still got 90 frames pretty comfortably. And I was just playing on this laptop. Like I wasn't connected to anything. And once again, when you think about that lightweightness, that design, this kind of form factor, when I was in school, uh, however many years ago, you just didn't have options like this in the game. So it's great to see we're coming such a long way. Integrated graphics are just so much more powerful. Not saying that I wish I was a student again going back to school, even though I did love my time there, but I wish I had a, a thin device uh, like this. So last but not least, for students, the big thing around um, using a device is obviously battery life. You don't always have the option to charge this up. So we were actually testing this out pretty fully throughout the day. We still have 25% um, juice left on this. I've been using this for around six to seven hours and you can get around 10 hours of uh, complete use before you have to charge this up. When you do need to juice it up, thankfully, you've got USB-C ports uh, on either side. In total, uh, we actually have three. And if you use the charger in the box, if you do a fast charge or you fast charge it, you get uh, two hours with just uh, 15 minutes of charging. So perfect between classes to last you till the end of the day. And I guess, Last but not least, we've obviously talked about uh, all these great features, uh, all the great performance, but uh, I think price point is probably the most important thing that dictates most students' uh, decisions. So this laptop is around that $1,000 mark. And when you compare that to, I'd say, pro devices, even within the Lenovo space, like the Yoga Slim 9, or even some of their pro models that push around that $2,000 mark, I think you're getting some really awesome value. This is kind of like that hidden gem in the Yoga Slim line. I really, really like this one. And as a student, so obviously you can get extra accessories. So we just have this little sleeve. And of course, uh, this funky little mouse, which I wasn't really sold on, but it acts as a pointer slash clicker. And you can actually rotate it into this um, little mouse that you can just break out on your desk. So obviously you have some different options. If you are someone heading back to school, heading back to the classroom, and are around that $1,000 mark uh, for budget. If you're looking for a PC that can pretty much handle everything that you throw at it, it's in a slim, very portable form factor. It has got great battery life. I just can't say more um, than checking out this device. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid and uh, best of luck um, at school this year. Peace.